Hi guys, welcome to another news. On your call has disclosed the deal between the APC and Governor Wonsong VK of River State. Tonye Patrick Cole is a Nigerian businessman. He is the co-founder and former group executive director of Sarara Group, an energy conglomerate with, uh, with operations spanning the entire energy chain in Nigeria and neighborhood West African countries to East Africa and beyond. The group operates in 38 countries around the world with over 4,000 employees to so annual turnover of $11 billion. He was directly responsible for building the group global expansion and upholding our corporate governance principles, maintaining a status and global institution like the World Economic Forum, where he was a key member of the Partnering Against Corruption Initiative, the United Nations where he was a pioneer member of the advisory board of the private sector advisory group for the UNDP Sustainable Development Group Fund, the African Philanthropy Forum, amongst others. Tonya Cole, in addition to be the founding running of the Nigerian Lightest Energy Conglomerate, he also spearheaded and developed work carried out for Sahara Foundation Gold Valley. He continues working to inspire the youth of Africa through charities such as his NGO, Nehemiah Youth Empowerment Initiative, which aims to influence change in Africa by bringing together young and emerging leaders to develop and implement practical strategies that will produce a positive outcomes for millions and more recently. Behavioral Health Institute that is set up for the study and management of behavioral health issues, especially among the youth in Nigeria. In addition, he worked closely with a number of foundations in Nigeria, including the Down Syndrome Foundation, Slum 2 School Foundation, the Compassionate Center, and various orphanages. He served as a board member at, for Atlas Boomerang TV Africa in Nactus, Nigeria, Nigerian Chamber of Shipping and Digital Jewels. He is also a member of the Private Sector Advisory Group of the United Nations Sustainable Development Fund, and he was appointed to the World Bank Group's Expert Advisory Council on Citizen Engagement. In September 2018, Mr. Cole was ma made a decision to pursue a career in politics. He formally resigned from all board and executive roles held in Sarara Group as well as the board as his board position elsewhere to contest for the gubernatorial seat of his home state of River State. This is an elective political position in Nigeria. He won the primaries under the National Ruling Party, the All Progressive Congress APC, and declared the flag bearer. But due to a postrant in our party legal tussle, the party was removed from the ballot and prevented from contesting in the 2019 gubernatorial election by the courts. Mr. Cole consolidated in political gains made in, the, in building a formidable team ahead of the future elections. On the 26th of May 2022, Tony Cole emerged as the flag bearer of the All Progressive Congress APC for the 2023 gubernatorial election after winning 77% of the delegate vote at the primaries. On the 25th of October 2022, a federal high court ruling annulled annul all reverse All Progressive Congress primaries. The reverse state APC protested the ruling and Cole was reinstated by the Court of Appeal in January 2023. Tony Cole recently came out and said there was a deal between the River State All Progressive Congress APC and the Governor Wonsom Wiki. The All Progressive Congress Governorship election candidate in River State, Tony Cole, recently made a claim that a deal between the Governor of River State, Wonsom Wiki, and the President elect and the former Governor of Lagos State, Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tunumbu, prior to the just concluded general presidential election during an interview on Arise TV. According to Tony Cole, the alleged deal involved that Wiki delivers River State to Tunubu in the presidential election, after which Wiki could do as it pleases to retain the governorship seat for his preferred candidate. However, Cole's statements are stirred to controversy, with some calling for an investigation into the matter. 
Tony Cole also suggested that Wiki had to resort to intimidation, bribery, violence, and threats to ensure the deal went through due to the politics in River State. Quoting the exact statement released by Tony Cole, he said, The deal was to for Wiki to make Tunubu win River State, and after he will retain the governor's seat. With the deal that Wiki and the president elect had, that an open secret by the way. Ashwajubala Ahmed Tunubu told Wiki to he can do whatever he likes with the River State governorship seat on one condition. The politics in River State was not going to allow the deal to go through as easy as Wiki assumed. So what he had to do was to deploy intimidation, bribery, violence and killing threats and all sorts of things to ensure that he completed his own end of the bargain. Going to Nigerians' opinions, Godfrey had said, Yes, I thought of this, and that is why Tunubu jokingly told him that he owes him nothing, and same as Sheima Kidi of Oyo State. Abubakar Musa said there is also a deal between Amichi and Atiku Abubakar, was his supporters to vote for Atiku. Benjamin Olayinka said, Just leave Vicky alone, and Nemesis will catch him, as he did to Amichi, just watch out. Adi Kunti Adini, he said, that is politics. Stop wasting your time. Jolie Ogin, he said, is, is, is the APC today are more killers. There are no more cancers to Wiki. Ajayi said, strategies will win you elections before your performance will do it for you in the second term. Close and Amici thought rivers belonged to them. When they were using river money in 2015 for Bari, they thought no man in this country can ever withstand them. But God brought in the man with wisdom, aka Jagaban, and I know he will deliver. Dag said, This man sounds really pain for losing a contest he never prepared for. Let him go back to a one year practical executive course in Harvard and major on how to win election in River State, the field approach. Fowl said, I asked Tony whatever he genuinely believes APC can win an election at this time in Rivers. Wiki worked for Tinubu in the presidential election and worked for himself in the others. Great Aboki said that is beautiful part, that is the beautiful part of politics. My wonderful and esteemed listeners, I know you must have something to say about Tony Yeko's statement. Please make sure you like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and let us know your thoughts and your opinion concerning Tony Yeko's statement. Was the election in River State really a deal? Or was Tony Cole just saying gibberish because he lost the election? That will be all for now. Please let us know your comments via the comment section below and I will see you on the next news. Bye for now.